Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewelry School and in this short video we're going to have a look at setting up your render and render size and also just have a look at the zoom tool. So the first thing is we'll come across to the render tab and what I do recommend if you're laying out your scene before you're ready to do a full render is you switch to the ultra fast render. It will speed up the rendering process and give you a preview before you are ready to save your render and you can do that using the default settings. Here's the resolution. So you'll see there's a drop down box with some preset sizes here. Now if you're just simply wanting to do a quick render or maybe something that you want to email someone you certainly can set this to a lower size somewhere between 640 and 360 by 800 by 600 is sufficient for emailing but uh, if you're wanting to do a final render I suggest anywhere from 1280 by 720 up to about 1920 by 1080 and you can actually go up to a 4k for some really high resolution renders that's you know a large format that you might want to put on and print onto a, an A3 size page or a poster or something like that so just be aware that the larger the file size obviously there's more pixel information and more light bounces and ray tracing going on so it will slow down your render speed the other thing i just wanted to point out is normally when you're scrolling in and scrolling out with your mouse people oftentimes will get the image set here and it, it looks fine but that's actually not the true render size of your window if you click the little icon here it will actually pan and zoom the actual image itself so if you scroll out you can see that rectangular area or border represents my current resolution so this image is going to render a little smaller than what it appears what i normally do is set this so that i can see the entire area of my render window and once i've done that i just quickly flip back to the select tool and then i can zoom in on my image and set that so if I come back to the pan and zoom tool you'll see I'm actually resizing the entire window okay so just bear that in mind when you're rendering because you can have a situation where let's say I'll scroll right out here you know my render window and the entire area I'm rendering is zoomed out quite a bit so my ring in terms of detail uh, is quite small in the render frame if I flip back to the pan and zoom tool and I actually enlarge this window you know it gives me the perception that uh, I'm just rendering that small window that's visible there when in fact it is actually rendering a much larger area so just bear that in mind when you're rendering I hope that's helpful and we'll see you in some other lessons. Bye for now.